Welcome back to Mostly Paleo, Always Delicious. For today's recipe, I'm going to make a lemon and garlic chicken and gravy and serve it over mashed cauliflower. So follow along and watch me today as I make this mostly paleo yet always delicious meal. For today's lemon and garlic chicken and gravy, here are our ingredients. I have one whole large onion that we've sliced, one whole head of garlic, and I have peeled all the individual cloves, two whole chicken breasts, bone in, skin on, and two whole leg quarters. We have avocado oil that we're going to cook in, a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. Please do not use anything out of the bottle. We want our lemon juice to taste like lemon juice. I have half of a cup of bone broth here. Mine's just frozen. Use whatever you have on hand, whether it's just chicken stock or what have you. Then for our dried ingredients, I have the zest of half of a lemon, a quarter teaspoon of ground thyme, pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, dill, and dried lemon peel. So these are all our ingredients and it's a super easy meal that we're going to prepare in our Instant Pot. So let's get ready to do that. I have my Instant Pot here. You can use any electric cooker that you may have. If you don't have um, an electric pressure cooker, you can do this in the slow cooker. I would just do it for low on four to five hours. So I have this on the saute function on high and I'm going to add about two tablespoons of avocado oil. We're gonna let this come to temperature, get nice and warm. Once it does that, we are going to add the onions and the garlic. By just throwing in those whole garlics. We'll also add the whole onion. And we'll just stir these around. And we're just going to cook this until it's nice and fragrant and a little translucent. Also at this time, I will add our fresh lemon peel from half of a lemon. And I'll take just a pinch of our salt that we have and lightly season those onions. Onions are cooking nicely, so I'm going to set it to the side, and then I'm going to start to add the chicken. Start with the lay quarters, and I'll just put that skin side down. So you see it gets a little tight, but that's okay. It doesn't really need to brown. I, it's gonna be more like a stew, uh, stewed gravy when we're done anyways. And this chicken skin's gonna come off. It's not gonna be something that we're going to actually utilize in this recipe for eating. We're just using it to help enhance the flavor of the broth that we're going to create. So now that all the chicken's in there, I'm gonna take our dried seasonings and just add those all right to the pan. And then we'll just give that a stir. So you want to get all the chicken coated with that, so we'll just kind of flip it. Yeah, one of the things I really enjoy about cooking in an electric pressure cooker is that you don't really have to do a lot of marinating. The flavors that you cook with really get deeply incorporated into what you're making. So you get the same effect as if you had marinated this for two to four hours. So that's all in there. Now I'm going to take my quarter cup of lemon juice and put that through my tiny strainer. We don't want any of the seeds. Make sure I get as much of that lemon juice out as possible. You can 
hear that bubbling nicely so you know it's nice and hot. And the last thing I'm going to do is just add in my half a cup of frozen bone broth. And that's it. It's good to go. It's absolutely no fuss. Everything comes together super quick. So now I'm going to go ahead and put our lid on. I'm going to make sure it's sealed. Turn this off. Put it on the poultry function for 21 minutes and I'm going to let that cook. Once it comes to pressure and, and it's done cooking, we'll let it do a natural release for 10 minutes. Then I'll finish it with a quick release. The chicken's done cooking. You can see that it has done a natural release for 10 minutes. So now I'm going to turn my hood on and finish it off with a quick release. So you can see that it took about two minutes for it to finish doing the quick release. So I'll go ahead and take the lid off. And then now all I'm going to do is pull the chicken out and set it aside so that it can cool down and I can shred it. And put it in my colander to help drain the juices and let it cool down faster. The broth smells wonderful. You can smell the lemon, you can smell the garlic and the onions. So now that we've got the chicken out of the pan, I'm going to put all of the broth, including the whole garlic and the onions that are cooked down in that instant pot, into a pot, and then we are going to turn that into our gravy. So I've poured the broth from the instant pot into a pot. I've got it on the stove on medium high. And you can see I've got the garlic and the lemon peel and the onions all in here. And what this is going to do, it's going to help us create our gravy. So I'm going to take an immersion blender and blend this all up. Two tablespoons of tapioca flour and two tablespoons of cold water. So what we will do is add that slurry to our broth and we're going to stir that and that will thicken it up nicely. And that's perfect. So now we got a nice thick lemon garlic gravy. I've shredded all of the chicken and you can see it's all shredded up nicely. So now I'm going to add this to the gravy and then we'll be ready to serve this over some mashed cauliflower with some asparagus. We've added the gravy to the chicken. It's bubbling. It's ready to go. The chicken's been able to soak up the flavor from that gravy. We'll serve it over our mashed cauliflower with some asparagus on the side. So you just take your head of cauliflower and cut them all into florets. Then you will take these florets and place these into heavily salted boiling water. And we're just going to cook these till they're tender enough that we can stick a knife right through it with no problem. So the cauliflower is cooked. I've added it to the blender. I am now going to add about half of a tablespoon of pink Himalayan salt. So I am just going to use some Kerrygold grass-fed butter. <clears throat> if you are going to do butter on a paleo or primal diet, it is highly suggested to do one that comes from grass-fed cows. So I'll add about two tablespoons of that. All right, so we've got the lid on. I'm gonna turn the power on and I'm gonna start on a medium. So that's it. Now you have your mashed cauliflower to serve with your lemon and garlic chicken and gravy. I've pleated some asparagus that I've cooked and our mashed cauliflower that we made. And then now I'm just going to pour over our 
lemon and garlic chicken and gravy over our cauliflower. Mmm, doesn't that look so good? Then I will lightly top with some green onion. For some added texture, I'm going to sprinkle on some pepitas or pumpkin seeds. So there you have it, another mostly paleo, always delicious recipe by Miss Sweet D. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This one is one of my favorites. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, if you like what you see, click that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, and see you guys next time.